Well, I think for a lot of the other projects that we've done, they've very much been, you know, about a moment, right? So for halftime, it was Super Bowl. It was, you know, the um, the run with Hustlers, the inauguration. And this was, you know, obviously a bit more layered and personal for her. So, I mean, I'm not saying that those projects weren't personal, but this was, this charted personal, but this was, this charted, you know, 20 years. And where she remember on the first kind of meeting that we had, you know, it was like, it was two hours long and I had just kind of heard things that, you know, I, I'd been around because I've been with her for six years, but I just heard, you know, a deeper layer of her kind of opening up. And, you know, I think she's, you know, not to speak for her, but just in a really amazing place in her life. And, and I think, you know, for her, it was, she wanted to, to tell the story. And I was, I was blown away, you know, at, at that, that, that was something different that I hadn't really kind of been around with her. I mean, I think for, for me, you know, I, when I started working with her, I, I saw a lot of the vulnerability, you know, and I, you know, I, I had always hoped that we would get to a point like this, you know, six years later where she's, she's really kind of opening up because she's an amazing human being. I've learned so much from her. I've been inspired by her. You know, she's, she's brilliant. She brings everyone up around her and, you know, to really kind of have an, a full all access, you know, look with her was something that, you know, it was just different. It felt different from the beginning. It felt different while we were filming it. You know, she just watching her kind of go through all of the different points of, you know, this is me now, you know, just seeing the, her, the emotion as she's going through these, you know, you have multiple different scenes and multiple different kind of uh, feelings and just watching her go through that for me as a document, you know, a documentary storyteller, like that was amazing to just be able to kind of have that, that look into her, you know? You know, I think the first time I, I worked with her, I, I tell this story a bunch. It was, it was, I believe it was one of her last shows in Las Vegas. And, you know, coming from New York, you know, you know, J-Lo, I was born and raised in New York. We know Jennifer Lopez, we know J-Lo. And I think for me, it was their last show. And, you know, I remember just kind of going into the rehearsals and just seeing a bunch of people around, a bunch of dancers uh, as she was kind of rehearsing. And I just I said to myself, I said, okay, I gotta I gotta do I gotta do my job, and I can't be nervous. I can't be, uh, you know, um, I can't let her see any of that. So I literally just went right up onto stage, and I had the camera there. I let her know that I was there, but I also kind of eased back, you know. And I, I let her know my presence was there, but I also let her know that there's space, and I'm not gonna be up in her face, and I'm not gonna be. Uh, I want to be unnoticed. I want to be, you know, the fly on the wall. I want to be the observer of the human condition. And I wanted her to understand and know that off the bat, that I'm there to kind of shadow her story and not be in front of it. If you notice a lot of the, uh, the angles that I shoot with are never really quite in front of her. They're always kind of off to the side or over the shoulder or through something. So you're know, giving the viewer kind of this like, I guess, a, a, you know, somewhat of a, a peek into her so they feel that they're there. And I think from that point on, I think she knew, you know, that that I, I, I wasn't just there to like be in her face and get my shots. It wasn't about my shots. It was about her story. And I think that that spirit and what that is just continued um, for, you know, many years. And, you know, from everything from uh, you know, YouTube episodes to can't to um, to campaigns to following her, obviously to the inauguration and and the whole you know three or four months of Super Bowl rehearsals. You know, I think you just have to you know you have to be able to um, you got to be subtle with how you document people, especially of, of that nature. They have cameras around them all the time, and you you know you just want them to feel comfortable and you want them to know that I'm there for 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 her. And, you know, it becomes a dance, really, you know, it's, it's it becomes a dance between the camera and between the subject, especially her. A lot of times working with her, the camera actually kind of like takes over, you know, like that, that kind of force takes over and you, you know, you're kind of, you're moving with her, you know, there's a lot of times where I'm tracking back or, um, or I'm, you know, following from the side, I have to know kind of what's going on over there while I'm walking, while I'm also on the side here. Um, 
you know, and also out of her way. So I think it's just the respect for her space, really. And she knows that, you know, I respect her space. No, it wasn't daunting. I mean, I've been a, a fan of his for many years. Uh, I remember seeing, you know, the show Project Greenlight and just saying to myself, like, how how can how do I get an opportunity like that? You know, how how could I ever find that? You know, like I, I'm, I'm documenting street culture in New York. You know, you just didn't ever feel like that was possible. And, you know, to have him, you know, his studio, uh, you know, you know, be the producers of, of, of this film was really an honor and he's just such an amazing support for filmmakers and for people so you know what he brought to the table was just allowing me to just really just go and do my thing it was he trusted me i think he probably you know pulled a little bit of trust that jen had from all these years and um you know understood that you know uh you know that i'm a good person and that you know i'm here for for them and uh he really just kind of let me go um, and 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 make the movie, which was like, you know, you pinch yourself on in these moments, you know, to have him be at the head of the studio. You know, you always dream about moments like that, but you you know, it's this business is tough, and you don't know, you know, will something like that ever happen? And um, for me, I'm just honored to 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 be a part of this whole situation and to have him obviously support it. It's been it's been a wonderful experience. Imagine, yeah, it's sort of a dream come true in a lot of ways. Daunting is the wrong word, though, because you know, as a filmmaker, he's he's an incredible filmmaker. So you're, you know, you can only learn from someone like him. And right. you know, th that's you know, it's the exact opposite of daunting. I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm like, what can I what can I learn from him? What questions can I ask him? You know, what um, what advice can I get from him? And, you know, he's so open about all that stuff. He's just a wonderful filmmaker. You know, I've actually had the, the privilege to document some of, um, you know, on air, uh, I was, did, did, uh, documentary, uh, style, uh, coverage on air. And, you know, I just, you just, you're looking at, you know, you just like, wow, this guy's a master at what he does. So for me, I was just like, okay, like, let's go you know like let's let's get it done and uh it was great he's amazing yeah i think in general there's a couple of things i think you know i always would rather be told to kind of hey step away than to be like where's jason so you know that was a bit of advice not advice but just with the, you know something that jen said to me she's like just you're okay always being in any situation unless I say, all right, give us a second. Um, you know, so just having, you know, that, you know, from her, I don't know if that's advice or if that's just, you know, like everything's okay. Like, you know, shoot. Um, but I think from Ben, just watching him and seeing how prepared he is, um, you know, when I worked with him on, on, on air, um, just seeing how prepared he is. And for me, preparation is, you know, paramount to everything. I, I need to be extremely prepared. I study scripts. I study everything schedules that's going on during the day. I figure out my plan, you know, um, obviously before we shoot, but the night before I'm, I'm, I'm really understanding how everything's moving and how I can fit into that without, you know, being noticed really. I think there's a couple of parts to that I think the fat Joe of it all was really for me being from New York and kind of growing up on on fat Joe big pond terror squad and that whole kind of error you know that was for me a moment of like wow and kind of what he brought to the table also you know inside the film I think he did an amazing job um but I had actually worked with him 20 years ago I brought him up to to Mount Snow him and big pun up to Mount Snow to go snowboarding. We used to do these festivals where we bring musicians up to the mountains. Um, so I showed him this picture from 20 years ago and uh, and it kind of blew both of us away. We were just like, oh, wow, that was a long time ago. I remember that. But they all were great. They all brought something so great to the table from Kim Petras to Neil deGrasse Tyson to, you know, Jay Shetty. They all have this, you know, wonderful kind of individual personalities that really kind of you know help shape the entire story so um they all were great they all really were great who's your favorite i want to know greg 
Well, you know, you know, Jane Fonda, well, because I'm a Sagittarius and she played Sagittarius in there. So yeah. uh, Jane Fonda, but the minute, you know, Jennifer Lewis showed up. Um, I mean. Right? We all were like, what is happening right now? That was real. There's no script there. There's no, you know, uh, do this or do that. Like that was all real. And I think it was, it was real, but it was like very authentic. That's who she is. And she came in and we all were just like, this is going to be a really fun day. Um, she just came in like as she, as she is. And, um, you know, some of us were like a little intimidated. Others were like, you know, this is laughing, but, um, she's wonderful. And, you know, Jane Fonda, I think for me, you know, again, um, that's like royalty, you know, she is like, you know, and I don't even know that there are words that can really describe how magnificent she is. So when she was on set, it was more just like, you're kind of taking it in and like asking yourself, like, is this real? Is Jane Fonda really here? Right. Um, but the banter, you know, that her and, and Jennifer had was so sweet and so special. And, you know, I remember, you know, looking at the monitors and just saying, oh, this is definitely making it into the film. You know, this is this moment, you know, um, and that was, you know, from the beginning when we got in the edit room, you know, I, I, I forget what the first scene we cut is, um, but I definitely wanted to see that kind of first. I just wanted to see how that how that flowed together and how that that story kind of tracked in art. And, um, you know, it was great. She's incredible. But I mean, Jennifer brings, you know, incredible and tracks incredible, right? So, you know, everyone, you know, wants to be surround themselves around good people. And so that was just really, that was, just, that was those, the whole, every day was special. Every, every cameo was special. I just know that I just know Jennifer Lopez, the, the, the what I've experienced with her. You know, I, I don't know what misconceptions are. I mean, I do, but it's, you know, she's she is what you see is what you get, and she is just absolutely like driven and all of the great things. Like I have never had a bad day with Jen in six years, and that's the truth. Like I've never had a bad day with her. So I, I don't, I can't speak to that because I, I i just i don't pay attention to that i pay i, I just pay attention to what i what i what i experience you know